Hello, my loves, and welcome to this slow and relaxing full body ASMR Reiki session where I'll help you relax after a long or a bad day. help you fall asleep. In today's video, there will be no tapping for those of you who are more sensitive to the sound of tapping. Today's video should be just perfect for you. There will be no loud sounds like rattles or singing bowls. Mainly going to be hand movements today, and I'll also guide you through a body scan towards the end of the session to help you fully relax and fall asleep. So, let's get started. We're going to start with an incense cleanse and the one that I chose for today is this Midnight Calm Incense to help you calm down before sleep or to help you fall back asleep you have woken up in the middle of the night. I love the crinkly sound. This one wants to be picked. If there is something in specific you would like to let go of, right now you can put it forward as an intention while connecting to the flame. using this very fluffy feather to gently move the smoke of the incense around your energetic body. And while I do this, I want you to imagine the energies of the day falling away from your body as if you are putting down a heavy backpack just release 
whatever today was to you. Let it go. It has passed. And you are here now. Allow the smoke of the incense to cleanse and remove any energies that feel extra sticky today. Maybe energies from other people that you have picked up during the day. Maybe thoughts that have been on loop in your mind. Allow the incense smoke to cleanse it away. There's no need to hold up. You can let go of your grip of today. Let it be in the past where it belongs. Okay. I'm going to keep the feather here for just a little bit. And then the incense will remain lit right here until the end of the session. I always like to give a little bit of extra attention to the feather and the beautiful sounds that it makes. So let's take a moment to help our bodies to relax even more. We will be using our breath to guide our bodies to a more calm and centered state. So when you're ready, Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Hold your breath at the top. And then exhale through your mouth. Good. Another deep breath in. Hold. And exhale through your mouth. One more together. Deep breath in. Hold. And exhale out. Really good. Notice how this might have already created some changes in how you feel. Our breath is one of the most powerful tools that we have to influence how we feel. So, I'm going to start off the session by drawing the Reiki symbols right here by your third eye. And if you're new here, the symbols that I'm drawing are a balancing sequence and they help to activate the session energetically. So I'm going to come in a little closer.
focus on relaxing our bodies. We're going to turn our attention to our minds. Because a lot of times it's actually our minds that are standing in the way of our bodies to be able to relax. So if you've had any anxious thoughts or any sort of overwhelming thoughts in your mind, we are going to very gently be plugging these from your mind right now. Just very slowly, gently, like so. I'm actually going to come in even closer. And just feel your thoughts being purified and cleansed. Just very gently plucking those thoughts out that are causing you some distress or causing any worry. As I do this, feel your mind becoming more clear. Feel your mind feeling more spacious and more calm. Like the ocean on a calm, sunny day. Fast and serene. only have a few more left and you're doing really well. There, last one right here. There we go. Good. So now using some crystals today to help ground and anchor in the energies. So, I'll bring them up one by one. The first one is actually not a crystal. It's a lava rock from Ibiza that I picked up while on a walk. And we're going to use the grounding properties of this rock and place it by your feet to help you ground your body's energy through your feet. So this one will be placed between your ankles, right here. Then we have this beautiful piece of moss agate. I know I'm not supposed to pick favorites with my crystals, but this is definitely one of my favorites. It is semi-see-through. And it looks like moss trapped inside of a crystal. Absolutely stunning. 
we will be using this bigger piece on your root chakra to call in the energies of Mother Nature, specifically the energies of the forest, to help ground any, any sort of fears that might be lodged in our root chakra. This one goes on the root chakra. And for our sacral chakra, which is located just below our belly button, I have this tiny but mighty piece of carnelian. This one is so beautiful as well. And we'll be using this one to help regulate and balance our emotions and our energy as well. If you've been feeling extra tired lately, let's manifest some more energy for you tomorrow in the morning. Okay, this one goes on your sacral. Then for your solar plexus, we have this oblong piece of tiger's eye. Let's give the camera a moment to catch up and properly focus. There we go. How stunning. Tiger's eye is great for protection. I'll show you in the back. It has some nice stripey detail here in the back. So tiger's eye is great for protection. And that's why I wanted to put it on the solar plexus. Because that's where we receive the energies of other people initially, and that's where they enter our energy system. So this one will give us protection from energies that are maybe not so nice, energies that we don't necessarily want in our own energy field. And the solar plexus is located right here uh, by the upper abdomen. And for the heart chakra, we have this lepidolite piece, which really matches my nails, my sweater, and everything. I didn't plan it. This one is great for heart balancing as well to help relieve any stress on the heart level. So that's why I thought I would bring this one in to anchor in some calming energies. This one goes right here at the heart. And for our throat chakra, we have a piece of angelites. This angelite is a small, tumbled piece. And we're placing this crystal with the intention to balance out our throat chakra. So that tomorrow and for the days to come, we are able to communicate openly and from a calm and graceful place. Our thoughts, our ideas, our needs, our boundaries. And if you have a tendency to over-communicate, 
maybe share too much or share too much to the wrong people, this will help balance it out too. So placing this one right here by your third chest. And for your third eye, locate it right here in the middle of your forehead, between the eyebrows. We have this tiny piece of blue onyx. Let's see if we can get my camera to focus on it. There we go. So we're placing down the blue onyx with the intention to balance out our third eye to help us use our imagination in a positive way not to worry and not to use our imagination for worst case scenarios things like that and also to help us see the bigger perspective so that we can see what is worth our energy and what isn't so this one goes right here your third eye and then lastly a little tumbled piece of rainbow moonstone this one has actually the tiniest flash somewhere on this peak, but it's really hard to catch on camera for some reason. And I always have a hard time finding it again. I feel like it's a, a traveling flash. <laughs> so, we'll be using this beautiful rainbow moonstone for the crown chakra located at the top of your head right here to help strengthen our connection to life the universe god whatever name you give to this higher power to help strengthen that connection to help strengthen our communication line with it so that it's easier for us to hear divine messages to receive divine inspiration for our projects and so on so I'm going to be placing this one at the top of your head right here okay so now we are ready for the full body scan to help you fall asleep and to help you wake up feeling refreshed and ready for another day so we are going to start by your feet and I'm actually going to place my hands on the tops of your feet but I want you to bring your attention to the bottoms of your feet the sole of the feet and I want you to feel the chakra the energy point there opening up so imagine the soles of the feet energetically opening up and from this point in your body connect to Mother Earth. So feel the energy of Mother Earth connect to the sole of your feet. And if you live in a high-rise building and the physical ground is far away from you, just imagine a thread of light going through all those levels of your building until they reach your feet. I'll give you a moment to do that. And then 
from the soles of your feet. Allow any heaviness that is still in the body to be drained down towards your feet and out of the chakras in your feet. So any heaviness or tension that is still remaining, any darkness, any contracted energy, just allow your body to drain it down through the feet, out of your body. Draining out any last remaining heaviness from your hips, your shoulders, your heart. Good. And now imagine Pulling up the energy from the earth through your feet towards your knees. So feel Mother Earth's energy being pulled up through the soles of your feet all the way up gently and slowly towards your knees. And this energy, Mother Earth's energy, is very calming to your body. It feels very grounding and centering. Good. And once the energy has reached your knees, Pull it upwards, through the upper thighs, towards your hips. Allow the energy to slowly creep up the body towards your hips. Until the whole of your legs and your hips are connected in direct connection with Mother Earth. And feel how Mother Earth's energy gently pulls on your legs and your hips to ground them even more. And then pull the energy upwards towards your lower abdomen. Allow the energy of Mother Earth to swirl through the abdomen in an anti clock manner to help release any tension between your organs. Help release any tension from your lower back. Good. And then we're going to pull up our energy even higher towards the upper abdomen. Allow the energy to stream upwards towards your upper abdomen and your middle back. Feel her grounding, any sensations here. 
Feel the relaxing effect that she has on your body. And then pull her energy up even higher towards your heart, towards your chest, backs of the shoulders, your upper back. Allow this energy to swirl around in your chest, helping to calm down your heart, your lungs, the muscles in the upper back, and helping them to relax and release their tension so that you can sleep with ease. And then she streams down the arms towards the elbows, covering the upper shoulders, the upper arms, all the way to your elbows. Feel the muscles of the upper arms relax as the energy of Mother Earth streams through them. And then the energy moves down the arms towards your wrists and your hands. And this energy brings with it a soothing and calming sensation. You can feel your whole arms Becoming heavier, more grounded, more relaxed. And even the space between your fingers relaxes. Okay. And then she streams up even higher in the body, towards your throat, the front of the neck, the sides, and the back, helping to relax the muscles of your neck, your vocal cords. Feel the energy gently swirling, relaxing the muscles, relaxing your neck. Good. And then the energy moves upwards towards your third eye. And now your whole face is connected to Mother Earth and her energy. You can feel her energy stream through your jaw, your cheeks, your nose, your eyes, and it feels really good. It feels really calming and very relaxing. Allow her energy to also clear your ears, to soften the inside of the ears, and her energy even relaxes the muscles around the ears. And as Mother Earth now connects to your mind, 
she helps you soothe your mind even more. You can feel your thoughts becoming even slower and slower and slower. And then she travels upwards towards the top of your head where she connects to your crown chakra. Top, the very top of your head. And now she relaxes the muscles of your skull, the muscles of your scalp, and even the bones of your skull. Right now, You can feel her soothing energy washing all over your body, encapsulating all of your body. No cell is left untouched by Mother Nature. Every cell of your body is relaxed and happy and sleepy. Allow the sleepiness to set in. Don't fight it. May you have pleasant dreams tonight. And may you wake up feeling refreshed and ready for another day on earth.